Welcome back Technobies, my name is Don. Today I'm gonna walk you through how to install and configure the son of basic wireless switch. Let's go. Tech newbies. The unit came in this small box. Opening the box, inside we have the unit itself. On both sides of the unit, you'll see the terminals for connection. On the right side, you have the output terminal. And on the left side, you have the input terminal. Also, on both sides, you'll find a single screw holes for mounting the unit. Included in the box are the screws to fix the cover to the unit. The mounting screws are not included, by the way. And of course, the manual that provides information on how to connect and set up the unit. To install this, these are the materials that you'll need. A two-prong plug. A two-prong single socket. Two wire cord, the length of which depends on how far your device and electrical outlets are. And of course, the zone of unit. The equipment you'll need are screwdriver, Phillips and flathead, a wire stripper. In this case, I'll use a box cutter since I cannot find my wire stripper. And a side cutter or pliers for cutting the wires. Determine the length of the wire according to the distance between the socket and the device you're going to use. Cut the wire accordingly. One length for the input side in one length for the output side. Using the box cutter, split the two wire cord on both ends. Working on the output side first, determine the length of wire you need to strip. Strip the insulation using the wire stripper or whatever tool you prefer to expose the copper wire and twist the wires to make it easy to connect to the terminals. Open up the single socket, the procedure of which will depend on which type of socket you have. Some may not have clips like this one. After removing the screw, you can now open the plastic housing of the socket. Inside, you'll find the two terminals. Loosen the screws for these terminals just enough to accommodate the wires. Insert the wire to the terminal. You may remove it from the plastic housing for easier access. Once the wire has been inserted, tighten the screw. Make sure that the wire is tightly connected to the terminal. Do the same procedure for the other terminal. Insert the terminals back to the plastic housing. Be sure to check all your connections and that wires do not cross with the other terminal. Return the other half of the plastic housing and tighten the screw. Fix the plastic clips back to the plug. On the other end of the wire, Strip both wires to just enough length as the terminals can accommodate. We now need to connect this to the output terminal of the son of device. Loosen the son of terminals with the flathead screwdriver. Before inserting the wire, make sure that you follow the polarity of the socket. The large slot is for the neutral and the smaller slot is for the load. Connect the wires one at a time and fix it securely by tightening the terminal screws. Warning, make sure to check and double check your connections. No wire should cross the other terminal as this will cause a short circuit. Place the housing cover on top of the unit and fix it by using the provided screws as tight as you can, but not too tight. This cover clamps down the wire to ensure that it doesn't get pulled from the terminal. Let us go on to the input side. 
again, strip off the insulation of both wires just long enough for the terminals to accommodate. Open up your plug by loosening the screw found on the housing. Remove the cover. Depending on the plug you have, you might need to remove the fixing clamp first before connecting the wires to the terminal. Loosen the terminal screws. Be sure that you have enough space for the wires to fit in. Insert the wire to the terminal and tighten the screw with the screwdriver. Do the same procedure for the other wire. Don't forget to check and double check your connection. Tuck the wires to the grooves of the plug and fix the wire using the clamp. Screw the cover back in. On the other side of the wire, strip each wire to a length that's just about enough for the terminal to accommodate. Observe proper polarity before connecting the wires to the terminal. Loosen the terminal screws with your screwdriver. Insert the wires to the terminals one at a time and fix them using the screw. Again, observe proper polarity. Once you have connected the wires to both terminals, check your connections again. You can use your phone's camera to zoom in and verify that wires do not cross to the other terminal. Place the cover back to the zone of unit and fix it with the provided screws. Be sure to tighten well so the cover will clamp on the wire. Time to test at work. Plug on the zone of unit. If you've done everything correctly, the LED will light up green. Download and install the AV Link app from Play Store or App Store. Turn on your location then open up the AV Link app. If this is your first time to use the app, you'll need to register using your mobile phone. The registration process is fairly straightforward. It will take only a few minutes. To add your device, click on the plus sign at the bottom of the screen. Click Quick Pairing. Click Add One Device. On your zone of device, press the black button for 7 seconds to enter the pairing mode. Select your home network and type your password. The app will try to connect to your device and configure it according to your network. You can see the step-by-step -step progress below. Just be patient and give it a few seconds to complete. By the way, the Zone of Basic has a model with RF if you want to use RF remotes. Since the Zone of needs the internet in order to function, once your internet is down, you can no longer use the Zone of. The main advantage of the RF remote is that it lets you turn your device on or off even without the internet. Name your device to anything you want and click done. Click got it and you are now back to the home screen. Plug the device you want to control to the single socket connected to the zone off. Let's test the device shall we? Since I have both Alexa and Google Home already configured for the EV Link app, both Home Assistant automatically detected my device. Here's how it works with Google Home. Hey Google, turn on Christmas lights. Got it, turning Christmas light on. Hey Google, turn off Christmas lights. Okay, turning off Christmas light. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos. Your support is very much appreciated. That's it for this video. See you again next time. Thank you for watching. Keep safe. Peace.